when the typically reliable mother of two, Afaf Hassanin, failed to show up to work on Wednesday, October 26, 2022, concerned co-workers notified local police. 911 emergency, do you need police, fire, or medical? We're on her friend, but her work called for emergency contact, which is another friend, and we're all looking for her. She's not answering, she has not showed up to work. And when she called me last night going home, she was scared. And, uh, and that was the last time I spoke to her. On August 31, 2022, a 28-year-old Nevada woman named Hand Bastami thrust herself into the national spotlight, seizing infamy after an incident at the bustling Harry Reid International Airport. Little did she know that a brush with the law would plunge her into a web of intrigue, leaving the world captivated by her mysterious allure. Arrested and charged with a misdemeanor, a belligerent Hand brazenly challenged officers as they apprehended her. With an air of audacity, she boldly claimed that her arrest was nothing more than a product of their envy. In fact, she declared she knew the real reason behind her arrest. Skipping out on a Chili's tab at Reed International Airport, but per the arrest report, she claims she was being harassed because cops had never seen anyone as pretty as her. This is Hen Bustami, who was arrested near baggage claim last week. Turns out she had an arrest warrant from Las Vegas Municipal Court. Bustami was uncooperative while being detained. She was later booked into Clark County Detention Center. The phrase, too pretty to be arrested, quickly captured the attention of numerous information platforms. However, just two months after the airport incident, Hen would find herself in the national spotlight once again. But this time, the world would be introduced to an astonishingly different aspect of Hend. Not too pretty to arrest, but too dangerous not to. Hend Bustami, also known as Henny to her friends, resides with her mother in a dwelling on June Flower Drive. She graduated from the University of Nevada, Las Vegas in 2017 with a bachelor's degree in hospitality administration and management. She has five years of experience in the food and beverage industry, although most recently she worked as a brand ambassador for a cannabis dispensary before joining the multi-level marketing company Monate. Despite her hospitality background, Henny's true passion resides in dance music. Viewing it as more than just a hobby, she aspired to transform her love of music into a professional DJ career. She could occasionally be seen performing at local events under the name Aphrodite. Yet, as the year 2022 progressed, Henny's dreams of making it big as a DJ remained elusive. Chaos began to encircle her, casting shadows over her aspirations. On May 26, 2022, Henny posted a message to Facebook that read, Hit me up on here. I haven't had a phone in months. My parents are holding it till I get my own line. So I do not have access to my phone number or anything social media app related, unless it's on a desktop. It took me about three to four months to articulate this information because life has been a series of unfortunate events. Sorry if you've been trying to contact me or if I'm hacked, I literally have no idea. Also, hit me up. I'm in need of assistance and a place to stay. This public revelation marks the first indication of potential difficulties in her living situation. On Wednesday, August 31st, 2022, police received a call about a woman who had left without paying her bill at a Chili's restaurant located at Harry Reid International Airport. However, when the officers arrived at the scene, the woman was nowhere to be found. Shortly after, TSA agents alerted the police to a female who matched Henny's description. She was spotted sleeping near the security checkpoint, after having caused disruptions to the TSA's operations. 
This will uh, this will give you a good place to sober up, and we're not gonna have to worry about you. You got it. This way, uh, big burger. Big burger. Okay. And then she's getting hooked because of uh, stuff she's got to take care of with the steak. Day day the previous day anything here, got but it. she'll be able to day sober day up there. She's not going to Texas either. Please, Phoenix. Yeah. Um, I'll let the airline know. Don't wait for that. Yep. Oh, and by the way, I've got all the uh, power to talk to uh, Blaine. Um, that okay. you were set up on everything? Yes, I yeah. did. Okay. Good. So. Uh, we're in concert. We're in concert. We're in concert. We're in concert. Now you can't spit on us. I'm not going to. I was just saying. Well, that was silly and childish, okay? Freedom speech. I'm sorry you guys didn't teach us better in college. There's not a freedom in speech. We're just talking about freedom of speech. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, freedom of speech. Like, you're free to say whatever you want. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. You can't put that back on my face because of COVID. You can't put that back on my face. I will literally sue you. Let go. Help! Oh. This is America! Yes, and you're the one that's right now, okay? Listen, I own you. Your gas is my country. He's coming. How much gas are you guys paying for? Can I at least have my identity? Please, harder, bitch. I need proof. Oh wow, rapist! Rapist, they're not even my glasses, you rapist! Alright, well, you can have on here. Okay, rapist! I have lawyers, these bitches can't afford shit! My lawyers pay for them, he's bruising my arm! What are you stacking in my pocket now? This is illegal, I'm not a fucking terrorist! But it's not. Oh, why? Because you guys have hidden moves? Let go of my arm, you no, no, prick! Let go of my arm! Stop Let go of my arm! No. Let go of my arm! I be squeezing cyber. At least gonna be a dick in my. Why am I going to prison? You're not going to prison. Why is there a bag over my head? What is this, KKK? My bomb is still inside. Hey, who's uh, a cop? Uh, uh, um, um, Jason. Yeah. Yeah. Hold on, let me, let me grab these. Two. Hey. 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 Ow, you hurt my ankle for no reason, you ignorant. You can just take them off. Thank you. I'm sorry, they're not Cinderella high you. Okay. Okay. Come on, we're going to get you in the car. That's what I know every judge in Las Vegas in your choir. Yes, I love the system. You guys don't know who I am. Mr. O'Donoghue, aren't you a tight sheriff? Look at this guy. Fire his ass. Please do. Rachel O'Donoghue, look. Look at who your dad trains. What a garbage. Garbage losers that never finish high school, right? A little dance boy. Heck uh, yeah. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I was looking for a job when I found this one. So. Bitch, I'm a woman. I marry one of you. Fuck me. Take care of me. You are not acting like you. 
are not a man. Oh, yeah. That totally fucks kissing. No, no, no. Don't you do it. Don't you do it. You're not, you're not going to like what, what not, the result you're is. You're not with my spirit. Okay, I'm going to put this guy down here. I would never debate yeah. myself from you. Yes, he's beautiful. He's beautiful. He's beautiful. He's beautiful. I don't know. I can see the... And and I have his hand away from me. Well, I can have a three. Well, I can have a three. I can have a three. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. 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 Be nice, okay? You aren't dressed up for the airport. Don't come back. I find you okay. I promise you will go to jail. Every single time. Okay, let's stop. I don't want to get out of the country. Ma'am, watch your foot. Captain, watch your foot. Captain, my question at the deputy. Did you hear what happened? 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 Did you hear what I'll go talk to her. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Henny was arrested for skipping out on a restaurant tab and violating airport rules. Although it is not witnessed in this video, police say Henny told officers that she was under arrest because she was so good looking. She was booked and released. Police later learned Henny had a warrant out of Las Vegas Municipal Court. Records show she was accused of battery against a security guard at a business in the Arts District in June. The arresting officer noted Henny could not sign the citation he wrote against her because she was intoxicated. She failed to show up to her arraignment in July, which led to a judge issuing a bench warrant for her arrest. She was scheduled to appear in court on October 27th on the battery charge, but she would not make that hearing. At 2.34 a.m. on October 26th, one day before Henny was scheduled to appear in court on a battery charge, Police received a disturbing 911 call. 911 emergency, Peralta 17124. Do you need police, fire, or medical? Uh, medical. I think I killed my mommy. What's your address? Uh, Why do you think you killed your mom? Because I did. I, I murdered her. How did you do that? I broke the table on her head. And I broke it. You did what with the table? Can I get medical medical eight seven five nine? Where where are you? I'm at my mom's house. I didn't hear the address. You said Yeah. Okay. What did you do to her? I killed her. How did you kill her? You said something about a table? I broke the table on her head. You dropped the table on her head? I broke the table on her head and I cut her neck off. And you cut what? Her neck off. Where are you at now? I'm in the car using a wire. What kind of car? Uh, this morning, uh, approximately 2.30 in the morning, uh, 911 dispatch received a phone call from a frantic female stating that her mother uh, was dead. Uh, then the line was disconnected, had no further details. Patrol arrived in the 10,000 block of June Flower in the far south part of town. Uh, patrol made entry into the house, did find uh, a crime scene, a lot of blood, did find a deceased female. The deceased female being described as a 62-year-old female. Uh, she had multiple deep lacerations, uh, a lot of blood, um, no sign of any other weapons, can't say anything specific as to uh, 
uh, manner of death, um, but she was pronounced deceased on scene. Uh, based on preliminary investigation, uh, we started looking for a daughter. Um, we now have that daughter stopped and in custody uh, in Barstow, California, uh, with the help of California Highway Patrol. That occurred about 5 a.m. this morning, the daughter being a 28-year-old female. Uh, right now, everything's still very preliminary. Still need to go through the residence, still need to talk to neighbors, uh, uh, still need to talk to the daughter. Uh, don't have many for, for the details as I don't know what caused an altercation, what made it escalate to this point. Uh, but at this point, we do have one deceased female and the suspect is in custody. Any questions? Who was the person who called 911? Uh, we believe it was actually the daughter herself had called before leaving the scene. Okay. Did anybody else home at the time? Uh, we do not believe so. Any weapons found? Uh, we've yet to go inside to a search warrant, uh, but we have no information on any weapons at this time. You said you were called at 2.30 a.m. and then you found the uh, daughter at what time? A uh, 911 call was made from this residence at 2.30 this morning. Um, we then started looking for the vehicle and the daughter. CHP was able to locate, stop her, take her to custody at about 5 a.m. this morning in Barstow, California. Thank you very much. Henny provided her address before hanging up the phone with the dispatcher. Police arrived at the scene and, to their horror, found the woman lying inside the residence with multiple stab wounds. Despite the efforts of medical personnel to render aid, the woman, identified as Afaf Hasnen, Hen's mother, was pronounced dead on site. The police initiated an investigation, securing a search warrant to gather evidence and information. Seeking additional insights, the officers visited a neighbor's house. The neighbor reported hearing a loud noise in the early morning, a possible indication of the heinous act. Moreover, the neighbor's ring camera captured footage of a person leaving the driveway in a two-door Honda Accord with a California license plate, a vehicle linked to Henny. A short while later, police were informed that a license plate reader tracked Henny's vehicle driving southbound on I-15, heading to California. California Highway Patrol was able to locate and apprehend Henny near Barstow. Upon her detainment, police noticed apparent blood on her clothing as well as cuts and bruising on her hands. According to detectives, Henny admitted to being involved in a verbal altercation with her mother over a pack of cigarettes. The argument led to a physical fight. Henny flew into a rage and hit her mother over the head with a table glass and broke it. She then used the shards of glass as a stabbing instrument, police said. She admitted to stabbing her mother several times before cutting her throat. Following the brutal slaying, she fled the residence. Based on these facts, police determined there was probable cause to arrest Hen Bustami for the murder of her mother on the charge of open murder with use of a deadly weapon. An article by the TV station 8 News Now paints a picture of serious problems at the Bustami home. According to Las Vegas Police Department officers, they received 12 calls for service at the Bustami address in 2022 alone. Seven of those calls were for family disturbances. Other calls included reports of a missing person, civil matters, and a suicide attempt. One neighbor reportedly told 8 News Now that seeing police at the Bastami home was a monthly or bi-monthly occasion. Neighbors frequently observed Henny's odd behavior, for example, asking for car rides from strangers, entering neighbors' open garages, and finding her belongings scattered outside. According to published reports, Henny's mother was at a friend's house the night before she died and expressed her fears of Henny, saying, I'm worried to go home. Maybe she will kill me. This unsettling statement reveals her deep-seated concerns regarding her daughter, adding a chilling dimension to the unfolding investigation. Henny made her preliminary court appearance on Sunday, January 29, 2023, following her extradition from a California detention facility. During this hearing, the presiding judge determined there was sufficient probable cause to hold her on the murder charge. As a result, bail was denied in her case. During a grand jury hearing in March, prosecutors chose not to pursue the death penalty against Hend. A trial date has not yet been determined. In the shadows of her fleeting notoriety, Hend Bustami claimed to officers that her airport arrest was driven by their fascination with her beauty. But beneath this facade lay an ugly truth, a truth littered with warning signs left unheeded. Trapped in the abyss of her own unraveling, she lacked the guiding hand willing or able to help alter her course 
and spare her and her mother from impending oblivion. Now, facing the daunting prospect of life in prison, she may come to realize that mere claims of attractiveness hold little power within those cold walls and, seeking attention, yields no rewards. <laughs>